Hi, welcome to Danny on the Go Special Season 2. I'm Danny. I'm going to do a walkthrough from this place to this place here. Walking begins in 14 seconds. In this video, I'm going to show you how to walk from KL Tower to KLCC Twin Tower, two of the four main towers in Kuala Lumpur city center, which only takes 15 minutes walk. I begin the walk from the entrance of KL Tower along this Jalan Puncha. On the left is the Hotel Indigo, a five-star boutique hotel which I have my personal review given on it. You can check on the link above if you haven't watched that. This road is quiet as it is a dead end on the other side and the only main attraction is the KL Tower with a few hotels and residences along this road. I have a small map at the side of this video so you will know the path I am taking now to give you a clearer picture where I am walking. I come to the junction where the road in front of me is Jalan P. Ramli. On the far right, we'll head to Jalan Raja Chulan where most of the offices are. I will make my way to the left now. It's 5.30 p.m. now on weekdays, so it's rush hour in the city. Cars are everywhere and it's a good day even though it's always hot in Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur is a city that fills with friendly people from both locals to tourists. Here, there is a person waving at me while I pass by. On the right here is Manara Hapsing. A commercial office building with the bottom three levels consists of fine dining restaurants and retail shops. Beside is the Tokyo Marine Insurance Building. I am walking towards to this cross junction of Jalan Sultan Ismail, one of the busiest roads in Kuala Lumpur city, especially during rush hour like now. One has to practice traffic safety protocol and follow the traffic lines for pedestrians to cross the junction. 
I continue walking straight on this road, the Jalan P. Ramli. From here, we already can see the KLCC Twin Tower in front of us. It's an easy walk as there is a walking path beside the road. On the right side here, we see a building with the word hotel on it. It's the Cabana Inn, a three-star hotel but it's permanently closed now. Perhaps there are too many competitors around which range from budget to high-end accommodations and the pandemic aftermath which makes the situation even worse. Beside is Jalan Para, where there are many commercial buildings along there. On the far end, the tall buildings there is the EQ Hotel, a five-star hotel which I also did make my personal review on it too. You can check on the link above. There are many tourists passing by this area as it's near to KLCC Twin Tower. Therefore, there are many cafes, restaurants, and pubs open along this road, like the one we see on our left here. On the right hand side is the Parkview 211 Luxury Suites, a high end service apartment. Inside this service apartment is a place called KL City Walk, a 500 meters urban street arcade where there are arts, food and events happening daily here. It's a family friendly place that attracts both locals and tourists to visit here, open daily from 7.30am till 10pm. On the left here is another luxury apartment called Sky Suites at KLCC. This is a good place for a visitor to stay as it's so near to KLCC Twin Tower and the price is much lower than all the 5 stars hotel around. In front of this building is the Menara TA1, a commercial building and facing it is Jalan Pinang where many more hotels are located along this road.
from here, we're able to see the KLCC Twin Tower is just in front of us. And the Surreal KLCC, the shopping mall under this Twin Tower, is the place where I need to go in. The road here is super busy all the time and it's not advisable to cross the road here. You can see many tourist buses on the opposite side of the road. This is the main attraction for tourists to visit when they are in Kuala Lumpur. I have to move forward to the traffic light in front of the pedestrian to cross this busy road. After crossing the road, I will make my way to the side entrance of Surya KLCC Mall. So I make it to the KLCC Twin Tower. It's just about 15 minutes walk from KL Tower. My video will continue to show the walk inside this Surya KLCC mall to the entrance of the other side where I will end my walk at the fountain area behind the KLCC Twin Tower. The Surya KLCC mall is a six-story shopping mall located at the base of Petronas Twin Tower. It was opened in 1998 and has more than 300 stores inside this mall. It's a must visit for all visitors to Malaysia. This is the center court of the mall.
Now I'm making my way to the back door of the mall where the outdoor fountain located. Alright, I have reached my destination. I hope you like the video of my walkthrough here and if you do, please subscribe my channel as it means a lot to me. If you find walking in the heat during the day is a hassle to you, you can choose to walk at night. You may be able to see some fantastic light show of KL Tower light. It's shown here. And the very beautiful night view of KLCC Twin Tower too. I hope to see you again in my next video. Till then, bye!